Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to uh, estimate a second generation panel data model uh, using using Stata. So first of all, we'll start with loading data. So I have used the use command. It means I have already loaded the data and saved it into data format. And this directory will, this code in which the use and then directory command will automatically pick the data file. And then I will encode so in my data file, usually the, the, the cross-section variables are in alphabetical form. So Stata will not pick it as a cross-section identifier automatically. What you have to do is that you, you may have to uh, encode it into an identifier. So after this command, you will see that there is another variable. Uh, there is no change in terms of presence. Only it was red earlier, now it is blue. The difference is that now Stata knows that the first country, Brazil, is ID number one, second country, China, is ID number two, then India, ID number three, and Russia, ID number four, South Africa, ID number five. So this way, it has given numbers in the order of the country names. So in the back end, there are IDs. So if we use XT set command, the full name is panel data setting with respect to cross sections and time. So it will know that it is the panel data. Now I will do the transformations that are that you may need, taking logs or taking spheres or making cross products. Now, first of all, before going towards second generation panel data models, you need to ensure that there is a cross section dependence in the data. So when I run this command, my dependent variable has a significant CD test value, which means that alternative hypothesis is accepted, which is that the data has cross-section dependence. So we have to use second generation panel data model. For that, I will show you the command. The command is xtmg. You might have to install it. So for the install, the command is ssc install xtmg. So if you run it, it will install the command. It has three models, mean group, which is similar to panel ARDL mg model, then common qualitative effect estimation, which is the new model in this set, which is a second generation model, uh, which accounts for the cross-section dependence. Third is augmented mean group, which is a recent model, uh, which also controls for uh, cross-section dependence. So if I run this one, it will give you long-run results. And similarly, if I run, uh, there is only one variable significant. So in this video, I focused on how to running it, how to run this model. Then there is another command that we, if I use CCE, it will give me this model where there are two variables significant. You know, you know, now you know that there are some extra variables which are actually cross section averages of the independent and dependent variable. So this way, uh, what happens is it is controlling for the cross section dependence in the data. That's why it is uh, uh, a second generation panel data model, CCEMG version. Then there is augmented mean group. When I run it, it uses some some type of uh, some version of residuals which controls for the cross section dependence, and and it is its name is mean group estimation of AMG, which is the uh, augmented mean group by Bond and Eberhardt and Eberhardt and Teal. So there is another function that if you use this command, it will store the residuals. And if you have the residuals, you can generate the shortened model for that. You can do it that you can just run xtg and you just copy these equations and add a t with it for short run, a first difference. For a, so it will make a ECM equation and then lag for lag for residuals the UG. And this is RES. So when you run with a UG model, so this equation will not run because this model does not allow time series operators. So I will first run how to show you how to run it. Then I will tell you how to solve this problem at the end. So I run this. So this will give me a ECM equation. So this is the e e ECM term. It should be between zero and minus one and significant. So it is bigger than that because I should have used the EOG model. But if it is not working, the solution is that you have to generate the variables like uh, like uh, gen DLCDD is equal to D dot LCDD. Similarly for all the variables. So when you generate all those variables, when you generate all those variables, you can run it. So gen 
Okay, so when you generate these variables using this command, I have converted all the variables, so it is saying it is already made. So the command is already showing here. So I have converted the lag of residuals as ECM and D dot variables as a D named. Then I use the same model without full stops because it is now there are no full stops and then ECM. When I run this, it will show me that the recollection term is still bigger than minus one. And literature says that it is it is okay if it is less than minus. 1.2 but ideally it should be between 0 and minus 1 so this is now two step ECM method where the the uh, long run is estimated here and the short run is estimated here so hope you like this video we have uh, discussed new type of models where which are robust to cross section dependence and, and then there are recent versions and then then you can get the short run results using this method thank you very much for, for watching